a Wednesday evening in Southwark, and a man was chatting with his friend in the street. It was a really nice sunny day. It was still daylight at that time. As they talked, two men on push bikes, a man in a dark hoodie, and two men on a moped all went past in quick succession. They all then appeared to hang around at the end of the street, just off camera. Minutes later, as Dirk started up his scooter, they struck. It was happening so quickly that I couldn't actually react. And then the next thing, I, they must have thrown me onto the floor and I must have lost consciousness. You can see one thug kicked Dirk in the head, another stamped on him. The gang then left Dirk lying helpless on the pavement as they scarpered with his bike. It was um, horrific, really. You feel numb and, and dazed. The first few weeks, I always had in the back of my mind that this happened and I was nervous. Do you know who these callous moped muggers are? Names, please. Also in tonight's CCTV, a shop in Brixton in South London in October, and these men are in a hurry. One is armed with what looks like a pellet gun. He immediately starts to fire it at the terrified shopkeeper. Taking aim, he shoots him again in the head and face. As the victim cowers, the other robber grabs the till, dragging it out of the store. Surgeons removed several pellets from the shopkeeper's face, but he still has one lodged behind his eye. Who are these hooded thugs? Another shop, this time in Liverpool in January. And as the employee is closing up, a man follows him inside. Armed with a knife, he demands cash from the till. He takes handful after handful and stuffs it into his pockets. But whoops, he's looked straight up at the camera. He then demands the cigarettes from the display, all the time holding the knife to the petrified worker's throat. He then marches the assistant to a back room where, out of sight of the cameras, the worker is forced to open a safe. Do you recognize this knife-wielding robber? You know what to do. A bookies in Wolverhampton one evening last September. A man in a black coat tries to cash in his winnings, but another punter wearing a blue polo shirt wants him to step outside. The man ignores him, and the disgruntled gambler walks off. But he returns seconds later and launches a sickening punch at the unsuspecting victim. The unprovoked attack caused extensive damage to his eye, which needed surgery. Stack the odds against this sore loser and name him tonight. This private CCTV is from a house in central London, but these men don't live here. The camera picks them up in the homeowner's bedroom, and they're clearly looking for something. They rifle through drawers and search cupboards. Totally unaware, they're being caught on camera. 47 watches, including these, were later found to be missing. They were worth an estimated half a million pounds. Let's call time on these two watch thieves. Get in touch if you know who they are. You can take another look at all of tonight's faces and CCTV on the website. Call and text the numbers on screen if you can help.